Hey you guys, it's Justin here, uh, back with another Modern Warfare 3 uh, commentary, I guess. Uh, it's a team deathmatch on Bakara. Um, I do pretty well in this game. Um, I top the leaderboards. I um, I think I'm learning from my mistakes from previous games. I've been playing uh, over the holidays now, I guess, for only really a few days, but um, getting a little bit better. Um, I think I finished this match with like 27 and 6 or something, so it's pretty good. Um, I am still using the Type 95, uh, which is a three round burst weapon. Um, since playing this match, I've uh, pretty much unlocked it like fully. Um, the gun's fully leveled up, the maximum proficiency with the gun. I've got the golden gun uh, camo. Um, this is a few levels before that, though. So my successful games uh, from the last couple of games, like the last couple of days, I guess, have always been ones where I've kind of sat back and not ran around like an idiot and kind of took my time around corners and just kind of get, got a better feeling of what was happening around me and um, since then I've been doing pretty well I can't believe I missed this guy <laughs> I don't know how many times I tried to shoot that guy I kept missing him but he got the better of me anyway so it's not the best start to the match but um, I think I do a little bit better I think I, I'm sort of learning from my mistake there I know he's up there somewhere so I'm just hanging back I don't want to run into a trap. So there he is. Okay, I get him back. So. so I'm just kind of a bit wary. <laughs> That's a cr pretty crap uh, aim of the grenade there. I don't try to take that guy on because he's too far away and I don't have a position on him. So I just run back and, and try to regroup and settle for another day. So he's up in there. Try to uh, stun him, but it doesn't really um, doesn't really happen. I don't know where he's gone, but then he just behind there and get him pretty easily. Throw down those bouncing beddies. I'm I'm not quite. I think uh, I'm after the claymores, but uh, I think you get the claymores at level 46 or something like that, and I'm only level 42 or 43 at the moment. So just using those bouncing beddies until I get the uh, the claymores. With those bouncing beddies. Uh, the previous video I was saying, I'm not really sure what the difference was between the, the Bouncing Bettys and the Claymores. Well, tactically they're very similar, but um, the Bouncing Betty jumps up out of the ground and then explodes after they've run over it. Where the Claymores just stay on the ground and they explode uh, in proximity. So, you can basically get, get by a Bouncing Betty with no problem if you just crouch. If you set one off, just crouch and you'll be fine, because it explodes above you. <clears throat> um, so that's the biggest difference, I think. The Claymore would just get you regardless if you were crouched or if you were standing, so... Um, obviously, that's the reason why the uh, Claymore's at a higher level. Because <clears throat> they're better. So not much happens up here, I don't think. Um... I think in this game, I, mean, I do end up winning it, but um, it's not one of these games where um, I go on a massive streak of of kills. I think I'm pretty much just solidly getting, you know, four, five, six, seven kills uh, uh, every time I die. Um, I think in the second half of the match, they come a bit quicker. But... Uh, I'm pretty content at the moment to just take my time and make sure I don't get killed. Maybe I'm being a little bit too cautious, I don't know, but um, I was lucky there. There's a guy around the corner here too. I can't believe he doesn't see me. There's a guy up here, I think, as well, from memory. There it is. I keep missing him, but I do eventually get him. There we go. There's 
You know, just scoping the place out, seeing what's around. I think this side of the map I do pretty well with. Um, I think I managed to take down a couple of people pretty easily, so I decided to hang out here for quite a, uh, a bit more and um, just kind of scope it out. I get some really nice long shots here, I think, from memory. I see the guy running up there, so I just take my time. I see him in the corner there. Just get him. There's another long shot coming up here too, where he's... I see a speck just behind this car. There he is. There we go. Get him back as well. Yeah, that's pretty good. I get pretty lucky here. I can't believe he didn't see me and start shooting at me. It's pretty amazing. There's a guy down there. I just pick him off. I just missed him. <laughs> he nearly kills me. I don't know how many rounds I shot at him, but... Um, Pretty crap aim at that point. Take out that guy, I get the uh, stealth bomber, I hide in here, set that off there. I only get one kill out of that. Should have probably aimed it a little bit better. I think at this point I, I was 15 and 5 or something, I can't remember what the. Uh, The scoreboard had me, had me at, but not doing too bad. I'm tied at the moment with some other guy. Can't pick him off, but he, I get the assist. I think there we go. We got a singer. <laughs> Some guy in this game was just singing all the time. I don't know why. Some people are uh, are pretty crazy. Next time I'll have to mute my um, turn off voice. That'll be good. Otherwise, it's just gonna be people singing at me all the time. I can't have that. Miss this guy. I take my time with him though, and I'm gonna get him. I don't know who's getting me there, but he takes me out. Left myself out in the open for too long. I see that guy. I, I don't start shooting him now because... Um, he's just going to turn back around and kill me, so I just wait him out and take him from behind. There's a guy around the corner here too, which I take out pretty easily. Rather than taking these guys head on, uh, I was getting shot at before, I'd just run around and take things nice and slow. There's no point taking on people from behind, uh, taking on people in front of you if you don't even know where they are. If they're shooting at you, they, they can see you, so better to just run back. He's getting me from somewhere. There he is, he gets me again. So the game only has uh, about a minute left. I think in the last 40 seconds or so I get a few kills, but uh, most of it was just um, in the right place at the right time. There's a guy up there, I just saw him, I could have had a good shot in there, but I run up instead and almost get myself killed here. I take him out, take him out, so I get a nice double kill with that. Could have been a lot worse though. And I set that off, but he kills me. That wasn't a very good uh, good thing. He would have seen the bouncing Betty come up, and he knew that I was there, so I should have just um, just left it. But I didn't know he was there, so what are you going to do? There's a guy behind me, so I hide behind the wall, take some cover, and then I just get him pretty quick, clean him up. There's a couple more over here. Take him out from behind these things. 
There's another one over here too, I think. There he is. Take him out pretty easily. So yeah, the three round bursts are really good. I'm getting used to them. It, it improves your accuracy a lot. So if you want to uh, pick a gun that um, you get better accuracy with uh, and improve your accuracy stats, then uh, I recommend a three round burst weapon. Like, you can't really go wrong. You just got to learn to use them. It's a bit, they're a bit sort of weird, but uh, yeah, so that was the game. Um, we lost, I thought we won the game, but um, we lost just uh, by a little bit. Um, top the leaderboards though. I had the highest KD of the, of the team, so that was, uh, that was good. So happy with that. Thanks guys.